Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, Editor-in-Chief of Craft Spirits Magazine, and welcome to the latest edition of Craft Spirits TV. I just got back from Austin, Texas, which is home to some of the finest craft spirits producers in the country. Among those is Still Austin Whiskey, which just released the first of its Distillery Reserve series on Saturday, November 16th. The production team took the contents of three of the best barrels of the distillery's high-rise bourbon and finished it in sherry casks from Jerez, Spain. And as you can expect, whiskey fans from the greater Austin area and beyond lined up at Still Austin HQ on Saturday to buy 375 ml bottles of the ultra-limited release, which I have right here and cannot wait to get into. And speaking of whiskey, Mount Vernon, home of America's first president, hosted the inaugural George Washington Whiskey Festival, where nearly 700 attendees were able to sample spirits from more than a dozen producers, most of them based in Virginia. That, of course, included some tastes of George Washington rye whiskey produced in the Founding Fathers Distillery right there on the Mount Vernon estate. Prior to the opening of the general session, a limited number of attendees got to mingle with some of the top names in the spirits world at a special VIP session. And on a sad note, the industry is mourning the loss of bartending pioneer and icon Gary Gaz Regan, who passed away last week. Regan was the author of the influential tomes The Bartender's Bible and The Joy of Mixology and a universally loved figure within the cocktail world. He also had his own very popular line of cocktail bitters. We extend our deepest condolences to Gaz's wife, Amy, and to all his friends and family. Here's to you, Gaz.